Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be another update video on my Monomoria Minimum and oh my goodness is there stuff to update you guys on. You may be noticing that uh well that nest is open and um you may also notice that's their old petri dish nest or their secondary nest as I always called it and you may be wondering there's a lot of dirt in that little area there. You you know it's a, it's a little weird, doesn't don't, don't you think? Well, I have something to tell you guys. Um, I decided to move them out of the nest. Uh, as you can see here, um, this was uh, the night of me actually moving them in here. I had to take them out of their old setup and put them into here. Now, a good thing about this is that um, when I did this and when I was trying starting to do this, they were actually beginning to inbreed. This is very good because, well, now they went from only having 63 queens to around about 100 or so. The colony at the time that I ended up removing them from this, uh, from their old setups, as you can see, both of their main nests, besides from one of them, has been disconnected and put into here. Uh, they were escaping. Hardcore. They were moving out brood, they were moving out elates at that point. There was a lot going on and I, I couldn't fix it. There was way too many escapees to even attempt to fix it, so I decided to just go ahead and move them into a dirt setup because I knew they would not escape then. You can see some a lot of wings actually that have been ripped off of the lates there. That is from them mating, not because of them being killed, but because of them mating. Okay, well, you can see one getting killed, but the majority of them are not getting killed. In fact, there are so many queens now that I can't even count them. Like, I'm I'm just sort of sitting here and I was trying to count them when I first, you know, removed the lid, but it, it's it's almost impossible. I've just decided, you know, to not count them. You can actually see some queens right there. They are stuck because of a uh, condensation. I'll end up actually saving those queens later on though. You can also see that there is a large grouping of workers on this other side over here on this wall as well. Oh, well, not anymore, but that's okay. They weren't inbreeding for a good while after they had a late. I'm guessing because they didn't have enough males or something like that. But the second that I take their, my eyes off of them, for one week, they begin moving out brood, they begin moving out elates, inbreeding, they're, they get so big that the nests can't hold them anymore. They're nesting inside of the outworld, everything just went insane. This colony is going to be power fed a lot more. I'm probably going to end up giving them around about 10 to 20 mealworms every single day uh, alongside whatever else I can find and throw it in here. You can see quite a few queens are still hanging onto the nest there. Uh, that is not all of them though. Many of them have actually left this nest and have moved into the actual uh, area that they are planning on nesting in for I'm guessing the remainder of time. Also sorry for the background noise. I can't really do anything about that. Actually right there where all the glob of workers are, that is one of the nesting entrances. Uh, they managed to find holes and they managed to sort of dig through them and find other caverns within the soil and they just sort of sneaked through there to get to the bottom of the uh, container. There you can see in a late she is trying to take off but is kind of failing. Um, I don't really know why she's trying to take off when they're literally just inbreeding inside of the nest, but, you know. Here is, uh, one of the sides in the dirt. Uh, you can see not a lot of workers on this side, but there's still a decent amount. You can see those holes I was talking about where there's, like, just small little caverns that they can fit through. That is one of those small little caverns that they just decided to go ahead and nest in for now. Here's another one of these caverns, as you can see, this one is a little bit blocked out by tape because I decided to tape little holes for a later on connection of tubing. And, uh, but you can see a few elates, actually, in, earlier in the photo, or, oh, there it is. There's a view of the elates uh, moving through these little caverns, and here is the other side. This side is filled with workers, that is mainly because I was heating this end of the, uh, of the dirt nest or dirt setup, so they're going to be completely swarming this area, and I can't wait for them to completely move into this uh, nest. Anyways, that is it for this video. Uh, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. See ya.